Steve in Minnesota. You came up to five five double nickels. Roger that. Over. Thanks for the fifty five five five. I got you five seven here in Nevada. The kite antenna QSL. Roger, Roger. Thanks for being there. Seven three. Have a good weekend. What's up, folks? It's Bobby W6 IWN, and it's spring here in Nevada, and the winds are good. So I busted out the kite. It's been a long time. Fingers crossed it uh, goes good today. We got a couple improvements uh, this go around. I got this ground stake. I'm gonna hook up. I'm gonna be doing. I think it's like 143 or 203 foot wire. I forget. It's been a while. And then I'm going to be doing my 9 to 1. I'm doing a random wire this time. This is some 26 gauge wire. It's a little bit lighter than the 24 I was trying last time. I'm hoping to get it out there a little higher. Uh, got the dog anchor. To anchor the kite, of course. And then here on, uh, wrapped around here is, I'd say 12 feet or so of shot cord. And then the, the middle of the shot cord, I have an insulator. And then that's going to hook down my string. I'd say uh, 25, 30 feet, I have this swivel where that's going to hook in. And then this will go to my wire. Instead of my wire just being the lead for the kite, there's going to be a two separate. Hopefully this will help the string on the wire. Also, this nifty uh, trick I learned about is a carabiner. So if you get a carabiner and you clip it on your belt, as you and then you put your antenna wire through here as you're letting it out it's less of a tangle and stuff so i read that on the, the soda beams site that's not my trick but i really like it and i recommend it all right the winds are picking up i'm going to kind of get my stuff together and fingers crossed uh i can get on the air all right fingers crossed that was pretty cool some people walked by and it happened to be a ham so explaining this was a lot less painful <laughs> Uh, it's been a while since I've even attempted this, so it's going to be a total test. So what I'm trying to do is I'm letting it out to that swivel I said I have 25, 30 feet. Oh, there it is right there. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of losing wind here. I already attached my shock cord. It's got a loop on it. there and then we'll say four or five feet I have an insulator plastic insulator and then at the other end there's a loop which I just for now I simply tied my wire I suppose I could put another carabiner or something on there okay speaking of carabiner now I'm gonna take my antenna wire I already have that carabiner hooked on my belt loop and bam there. So now I got both hands. I'm not getting them tangled. Ooh. All right, the first attempt got halfway and then the wind died. I had to be patient for about an hour. It was cool. Met another ham, got to chat it chatted up. And then the camera tripod blew over and boom. Uh, the wind is good for now. Knock on wood. But uh, today I got the nine to one down here. There's a ground rod. It's hard to see, I pounded it all the way. It's about four foot copper rod. Uh, the, I'm doing it on a vertical. It's, it's more like a slanter at the moment. And then down over here, I have it staked off with a dog stake. One of those corkscrew dog stake. Kinda had to rearrange my lines too. Anyhow, I'm gonna get off of this and uh, try to make a POTA happen. QRZ, park's on the air. Kilo off, Bravo, zero, radio, park, shot, Charlie, park, park. I gotta park to park. Park to park, please. Alpha Echo 4, Gulf Sierra. Alpha Echo 4, Gulf Sierra. 
Watch it. 